Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! Y'all ready for this? Hi everybody, it's Doreen, and I'm back today with another card, and this is another sympathy card for one of my co-workers whose wife has passed away. So today, we won't be using the silhouette or the cricket. What we will be using is the card creator dies. Now this is going to be the curved creator dies basic A and basic B. So now don't worry if you don't have those. I will be giving you the measurements but you will need a quarter inch rounder to make your card curve along the edge there. So this is the card that we will be making. So come on and join me and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay everybody, so let's bring up the supplies so we can get started making the card. So now, this card measures five and a half by eight and a half, and I've taken and scored it in half to make it a five and a half by four and a quarter inch card. The other thing that I've gone ahead and done is I've gone ahead and taken my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chopper and I'm using the quarter inch side and I've gone all the way around to round out my corners. So now we're ready to start adding our layers and as I said we will be using the Spellbinder dies and this time we're going to be using the curved basic A and the curve basic B. So don't worry if you don't have these. I'm going to give you the measurements. So now my first layer or my bottom layer okay the size of this is four and an eighth by four and an eighth by five and three eighths and this is the card creator curved letter A1. And I label mine so this would be the largest size. And that's going to lay right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. I'm not adding any ribbon so we can on this layer. So we can go ahead and tape this down. Now this paper is from this paper pack by DCWV. It's called the Linen Closet Matte Stack. So, if you are going to make this and you don't have the Spellbinder dies, what you'll have to do is, after you do your measuring, you'll have to, um, if you have a corner chopper, you're going to have to round your corners all the way around to get the correct measurement for it to go on the card. So, we'll get our tape on here. I'm using the ATG gun. Put my tape down. And I've opened up my card and I'm just going to go ahead and lay this down. And press down. So now I'm ready to add my next layer. And my next layer is from the curved letter B. And this measures 5 and an eighth by 3 and 7 eighths. And once again, you curve your edges. I'll make sure that's right. That's correct. And then you can add this layer. Now this is letter B1 if you're using the card creator. So we'll get our tape on here. All the way around and then we can add this layer to our card. And then I'll tell you where I got this paper from. So let me go ahead and look, I got a piece of tape on the front of there, so I need to get that off of there. And then we'll add this layer. Next. 
and then we'll be ready to add our last layer but before we add it we're going to make sure we get our ribbon on so that's our next layer and then for the last layer well let me tell you first where this paper came from this came from this paper stack and this is the antique dots and it's by my mind's eye so it looks like that and then our top layer is from a paper studio pack called the classics so now with the top layer we're going to go back to our A2 spellbinder die and this one measures four and seven eighths by three and five eighths and this would be A2 on your if you're using a spellbinder die so before we go ahead and add this I want to put my ribbon on here with my bow okay everybody so what I've done is I've gone ahead already and added my ribbon and bow to the front of the card and I just want to clip some of the frayed ends that I have here so I just went ahead and used the cheater method to add that so I'm just going to now take and get some tape on the back of here and we'll add it this top and final layer to the card now I have to be careful because I'm going over that bow that I've put on there and I also want to make sure this doesn't come off so make sure I get tape all the way on my edges and then I'll just run some across here and then we'll add the top layer so I'm going to open up my card and I'm going to just add my top layer down. So now, the next thing we're going to do, and I've already done some of it already, so you wouldn't have to sit here and watch me do that as well. I've gone ahead and taken the Cherryland Vase Set of Four, and they look like this, and punched out a vase. I'm using this vase right here along with I've added some flowers back on the back of here and I just added those with some tape to stay on there and they look like this um, I'm not sure I got these online I can't remember where but I do know I think they're prima flowers as well and I'm just gonna place that right there and then once I get it down because I've also popped it up I'm gonna adjust how I want my flowers so I'm gonna take the tape backing off of here and then we're just going to add the vase with the flowers to the card. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to place it like just so it's barely touching the ribbon. And then press down. And then you can kind of fluff the flowers up the way you want them inside the vase. So it looks like that. So the last thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my sentiment on the front. And I'm not going to add any bling on this card. I'm just going to add some pearls. And then I'm going to place um, my inside sentiment. And I'll be back with the finished card. Okay, everybody. So I'm back with the finished card. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and stamped out my sincere sympathy on the front of the card. And then I've added some pearls down here at the bottom on the ribbon on this side next to the vase and then I've added one pearl on the other side of the bow and then I've gone ahead and stamped out a sympathy sentiment in the inside of the card and now for my envelope it's a pre-made envelope so I've just gone ahead and stamped out with sincere sympathy and it came with the flowers and then I took my Yasutomo watercolor paints and painted the flowers and then I've added a butterfly that I've punched out with the Cherry Lynn dies. So that's it, everybody. This is the sympathy card that I've made for one of my coworkers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.